So I've just heard about David Crosby's death. Um, apologies if you're a fan of David Crosby and you just come onto this not knowing that's happened. Um, it's not. It's only been out in the news for about half an hour. Um, uh, really gutted. He, he, uh, very sad news. Uh, the man was an amazing, amazing musician and a real huge influence on me as a musician. So uh, I wanted to do a quick video that wasn't just a simple R.E.P. I thought I'd talk about why I love David Crosby um, because, I don't know, 2023, I know there are, like my students, a lot of them wouldn't have heard of him and I think uh, in time, some of the legends of the 60s, some of them get forgotten about or not talked about as much. Uh, in America, probably he does, he, you know, probably teenagers in America know him as much as anybody else. But, yeah, uh, he obviously, uh, when he was very young, um, was already making a massive influence being part of the birds. And... Uh, just in that short stint he was with the Birds, um, he did some really important things, and as a band, they, they were really important very quickly. And then, of course, he met Graham Nash and Steve Stills, and they, I don't know, reinvented harmony, I reckon you could say. Um, there was all sorts of influences on them and all sorts of ways that harmony vocals were... Uh, developed and made incredible by all sorts of people before that, like the Beach Boys and the Emily Brothers, and um, you know, uh, it's not that they were the first people to do it, obviously, but they were so inventive with their vocals. And David Crosby was a big part of that. Um, David Crosby often did the most unusual sort of middle harmony and weaved between the two of them sometimes, and was just so clever and such, and he had such a beautiful voice as well. I think the, the, the purity of his voice, I thought, was uh, just really powerful. And, and it, also his voice was in good shape, uh, you know, um, up till now, um, into his 80s. And, uh, you know, uh, I've, I've, I saw two of his shows, two of his solo shows over the last sort of 10 years. And his voice was in great shape. But he had such a great voice. And, uh, and you know, the freedom of the way that Crosby, Stills and Nash worked, that they all, you know, did each other's songs and um, they had a chance to stretch with their songwriting in a way that their previous projects didn't really give them that chance. Uh, made it gave Dave Crosby a platform to do these... Um, really unusual songs that you know out of the three of them he was the one that wrote the strange kind of almost like acoustic psychedelia um i think he said uh at, when i saw crosby stills and nash uh, they made a joke one of them made a joke about the fact that david wrote the weird shit <laughs> uh and uh yeah he wrote some really really interesting songs i mean like the, just the the almost the eeriness of Guinevere. It's a beautiful song. It's a very romantic song, but it's also quite eerie. And the you know you've got this real defiance and power in almost to cut my hair, but it's also quite um, unpredictable. And the way that the song moves is 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 uh, almost like a stream of consciousness. And that was kind of you now his writing was so unusual. Um, you know, I'm sure you know, him and Steve Stills together wrote Wooden Ships and I'm sure he probably wrote the weirdest bits of Wooden Ships. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, I mean, you know, what he did in Crosby, Stills and Nash through the years, because obviously they worked together for a long time and the stuff he did with Just Nash uh, or, was just amazing. And, and I've always valued uh, a song that he wrote called um, Dream For Him which is on the uh, relatively underrated Looking Forward album. And it's such a beautiful song, Dream For Him, and it's all about how he'll never lie to his kids because he doesn't think you should lie to your kids. And it's just so well done. It's beautifully done. Again, it's quite... Um, 
in a lot of like a lot of Crosby stuff, it's quite ambient in the way the music flows. And uh, such a brilliant song. Um, and he also wrote Street to Lean On as well, which is really cool on that album, uh, which is a really good political song. But, you know, when Neil Young wrote Ohio, but if you listen to the track, Crosby sounds the most pissed off in Ohio. Ohio is such an incredible song, such an incredible song. But Crosby's performance is, is just, he, he just sounds so angry. Quite rightly, obviously, because of what the song's about. But he's really going for it, and that's what Crosby was like. And 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 you see him live, and it was like that. And and it was so cool that his most recent activity with his new band, the Lighthouse Family, uh, was has some amazing stuff on it. And and he paid tribute to Joni with the uh, his new version of For Free, and that's a really good album as well. Um, and there's a track on the late, latest one. It was called something like. I'm not going to be around for long or something. And he, you know, considering he died twice already, years, decades ago, and still kept going and, you know, he's had such a, you know, he's had a battle with drugs and has had a very long life considering the lifestyle he had and how how close to death he'd been. Um, that is definitely a positive and, you know, he's, he, he kept writing and recording all that time, which is really awesome. And like I was saying earlier, his voice held out, which is great. But yeah, um, really sad news. Uh, I also think it's a shame that he didn't manage to reconcile his differences with Graham and Neil. I think he was getting on with Stills, but um, but he did upset Graham and Neil, and, and they didn't manage to sort that out in time, which is a shame, I'm sure. Like... You know, all the fans had been saying, I'm sure that they would have preferred to have sorted it out, but obviously that's not, you know, it's it's, it's human nature in it. But uh, what a legacy. What a great, what a great discography of songs that you can dip into. And, and he was such a huge influence on me. Um, all of my projects, all of my musical projects have really been based around vocal harmony. And he <clears throat> was such an important element of that. But his writing and his lyric writing was an influence on me as well. Um, I wanted to do, I mean, I was going to title this video because I didn't want to just do an R.I.P. thing because um, it just seems a bit naff, but I was going to do a Why I Love David Crosby and I've kind of gone a little way around it, uh, just started talking. But he was a great songwriter. He was a great vocalist. Great vocal harmoniser, which is unusual. You know, not everybody does that and, and hardly anybody if anybody else at all did it like he did it. And he was, he was, his, his, he had this fire in his belly, you know, right from the early, you know, you can see really early footage of him on TV chat shows in America where he, he, uh, was really passionate about political issues and, and about, um, uh, fairness and, uh, you know some of the political freedoms they were they were talking about and fighting for in the sixties. You know he's he's he was you know he's always he's always had that spirit of justice and fairness. But yeah, anyway, uh, great songwriter, great vocalist, uh, always interesting and uh, passionate political voice, fascinating character. Uh, really honest guy as well. I mean, I think the one thing about him, he did offend people sometimes and he upset people, but there was this sort of um, sense that he would just say what he felt, which I think was really admirable. Um, but yeah, as I said, it's just, it is a shame that he did cock up a couple of times and he hasn't been able to sort his relationship out with um, Neil and Graham, which is two of the longest relationships he's had so it would have been nice you know especially Graham I mean you know they must have considered themselves brothers really and yeah uh, anyway uh, David Crosby I wouldn't I'm not going to put loads of videos up every time one of my heroes dies but this is a big one for me and I wanted to just put up a thing about how how great he was and how important he was so um, yeah if you get a chance to listen to some stuff, um, 
by Cosby Seals and Nash or the Birds tonight, tomorrow. Give him a spin to David Cosby.